It's Read Across America Day. Kids are reading lots of Dr. Seuss books. So this is my workflow for some quick tactile graphics to at least give some uh, interesting stuff that the student can um, feel and talk about with teacher and the other kids that are gonna be coming into the classroom um, to help focus him and get him interested in reading some tricky text. So instead of giving him the whole big book of Fox and Socks, I'm making some um, short readings that can be done. So what I do is grab a picture of the book somewhere online and I bring it into Good Notes and then I um, trace it, I'm trying to simplify the graphics. And then what I can do when I'm done is export it, export all the pages and you leave the back background blank and it will just leave the lines that you drew on top. I'm gonna put that in an external app. I'm gonna go to Adobe Fill and Sign. I wanna make this, um, put a little text on there so I can just run it through the P-off and the Braille will be um, part of the P-off picture. So if I go to my Mac and I go to Braille Writer, uh, Braille Writer Student, I can six key entry the Braille into um, a document. If I copy that, I just put it into my Notes app. And since my Notes app is uh, synced to my iPad, there it is. I can copy that text that I want to put on. Oops, I need to copy this here because I had a typo. Ooh, I gotta do that with one hand. There we go. Um, copy and it in here, paste, now, whoop, there it is, fixed it, awesome, select, select all of that, copy that, and now I go back to um, Adobe Fill and Sign, it's right there, now I can Grab this this way. Now I should be able to just drop the text in there, paste, and I need to bump up that size. I have to actually figure out how many taps I need to get that. You're looking for 29 point font to make it the same size as embossed braille. So that looks good to me. And I can just hit print. And then I can um, pee off that and add it to a braille page that's just about bim and bin.